हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू श्री चैतन्य एंड इन दिस सेशन इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिटेल्ड एनालिसिस ऑफ जे एडवांस्ड 2025 ऑफ फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड मैथ्स द डिटेल्ड एनालिसिस विल बी कवर्ड हियर हाउ मच सेक्शन इट वाज आस्ड इन फ्रॉम क्लास ट्वेल्थ और फ्रॉम क्लास इलेवंथ फ्रॉम विच टॉपिक्स द ईजी क्वेश्चन वर आस्ड मॉडरेट क्वेश्चन वर आस्ड एंड डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन वर आस्ड एंड ओवरऑल what was the difficulty level of the paper so in this session we'll discuss everything uh, about j advanced 2025 okay so let's start with paper 1 okay so if we talk about paper 1 <clears throat> and let's start with your favorite subject that is mathematics so in mathematics if you can see uh, the this is the name of the chapter okay and these are the concepts which are covered and here you can see the standard of the question okay like for example in theory of equations the first question that was from paper 1 theory of equations in which you need to find coefficient of x cube so that was a cubic equation concept and very easy okay if you talk about probability concept so the concept was independent event okay and it was generally moderate level paper moderate level question continuity and differentiability it involves the oscillating limit concept okay and maximum minima concept so it was really difficult and in matrices the number of matrices you need to find the concept of pnc was there and it was also very difficult so like this you can see each and every question like 3d geometry question was very very easy formula based functions was graph based was more very moderate now complex number question was very easy just you need to put z equal to x plus iota y set and relation question was very very easy okay vectors question was normal moderate permutation combination the counting cases was moderate and limits function sequence series all these questions are easy to moderate okay differential equation question was little bit on the lengthier side and the last three problems were definitely from matrix match the following statistics was easy but yes lengthy obviously uh, continuity differentiability involves calculation it was again a uh, <clears throat> moderate question but yes you have to make the good use of the options okay you don't need to solve in matrix you don't need to solve all the four four parts you just need to have a look at the options and solve at least at one or two parts and the question will be solved okay so that trick will will be used in in matrix and vector question in matrices was again is a moderate level problem so overall if you see the <clears throat> analysis of maths okay so it was more or like moderate with some questions were easy and some questions were on the tougher side but moreover uh, mostly the questions were of the moderate level okay now let's come to the physics part so physics part simple hard the topics covered simple harmonic motion that was moderate difficulty level electromagnetic induction the question were, were there okay emi that means good weightage was given to electronic electromagnetic induction then waves collisions unit dimensions vernier caliper was asked which was moderate difficulty level unit dimensions was easy difficulty level it was uh, a simple problem and simple harmonic motion again apparent weight easy difficulty level so overall the physics paper was more or like like moderate to difficult with some lengthy questions okay so <clears throat> this was this is actually the physics analysis of paper 1 and if i talk about chemistry paper 1 analysis so difficult questions were asked from mixed concepts like sociometry plus organic chemistry they have mixed like in j main also and mixed organic concepts were asked so more organic chemistry was asked uh, moderate question were from coordination compounds acidic strength uh, chemical bonding f block and named reactions and after that easy questions were from group 15 d block faraday laws so some inorganic part some ph calculation like uh, from physical chemistry gases state thermodynamics so there were easy questions from this portion okay so overall this is the paper one analysis of chemistry and generally the the overall difficulty level was from easy to moderate so maths was more like moderate but with lengthy problems uh physics was also from moderate to tough including some lengthy problems and chemistry was like little bit tricky but easy to moderate level okay now the chemistry paper featured a balanced mix of questions across dif uh, difficulty level with most questions focused on reaction based concepts named reactions fundamental principles like faraday law and ph calculations okay after that if you can see the class 11th and 12th analysis like how much percentage was from class 11 then how much was from class 12 so you can see that mathematics covered more class 12 topics because in class 12 calculus is again 
मतलब आई थिंक थर्टी परसेंट अराउंड थर्टी फाइव परसेंट दे वास्ट कैलकुलस एलजेब्रा मेटिस डिटर्मिनाट्स वैक्टर थ्री डी प्रोबेबिलिटी सो ऑल द क्लास ट्वेल्थ चैप्टर्स आर रियली रियली हाई वेटेड चैप्टर्स एंड क्लास इलेवंथ इन पेपर वन आई थिंक देर आर नो क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम कॉर्डिनेट जोमेट्री एंड ट्रिग्नोमेट्री कॉर्डिनेट जोमेट्री एंड ट्रिग्नोमेट्री वॉज आस्ट इन पेपर टू सो क्लास ट्वेल्थ वेटेज इन मैथ्स वॉज हाई फिजिक्स इट वॉज बैलेंस्ड बिटवीन क्लास इलेवन क्लास ट्वेल्थ बिकॉज मकैनिक्स इज अ मेजर पार्ट एंड केमिस्ट्री अगेन क्लास इलेवंथ वॉज आस्ट ओके Now let's talk about mathematics paper two analysis. So there were total sixteen questions out of which six were very easy, four were moderate, and six questions were really difficult. So the this level, this paper, paper two level, definitely uh, is very very. Um, that means the paper was tough as compared to paper one of mathematics, because uh, the the number of lengthy questions, numerical section, uh, and the calculative questions were more difficult. Questions were more as compared to paper one. So this. was like uh, moderate to difficult but yes slightly on the tougher side and calculative side and numerical section was also very nice so easy questions were from area under the curve which was asked in single correct then differential equation exact differentials was very easy binomial theorem theorem numerically greatest term was asked in the numerical type vector scalar triple was very easy complex numbers cube root of unity where they have asked the summation of argument of minus omega ki power n that was again a very easy question and definite integration was very easy like tan inverse and cot inverse properties were used uh, in uh, moderate questions you can see that limits l orbital rule like the first question i think it was moderate it was easy to moderate in fact lines plus hyperbola again the single correct question it was very very easy okay and but yes you can See that some calculations were involved. You have to find the locus first, and then you need to find uh, the tangent. Function differential is composite function uh, in numerical was uh, again a moderate problem, and trigonometry telescopic series. Uh, it was again a very moderate problem, but difficult problems. If you can see, inverse trigonometric number of solutions was a challenging problem. Matrices determinants challenging again. Uh, it was in multiple correct parabola and locus plus cot. That was again I think one of the most trickiest problem of mathematics in this year. Uh, ellipse auxiliary circle was lengthy and uh, definitely difficult. Application of derivative local extrema. Uh, in which they have asked the trigonometric and algebraic function mixture i think it was again a very very solid and tough concept and probability is again difficult questions so six questions were difficult in the paper 2 uh, and it was slightly on the better side or tougher side as compared to paper 1 if you talk about mathematics okay and if we talk about physics so physics paper 2 analysis again it was way more tougher than paper 1 obviously and students reaction was this that paper was definitely a very very good level problem very some tricky questions were asked okay conceptual questions were there obviously like uh, electrostatics and magnetism they asked some moderate problems thermodynamics also they asked some moderate problems and mechanics involved some difficult moderate to difficult problems uh, from dimension analysis spring block system motion of satellites and projectile motion so some difficult questions were from this part and thermodynamics Car carnot engine and heat pump first law of thermodynamics and ideal gas equation there was some easy to moderate part asked and if i talk about optics and modern physics uh, i think that was the major surprising part where mirror and refraction energy in bohr orbit and ydse with thin sheet they have asked some very difficult problems from this portion and doppler effect it was just moderate problem okay so this was uh, about paper 2 of physics and if we talk about chemistry so easy questions were from uh, sulfide ion test oxo acids of phosphorus density calculations and hydrolysis of polysaccharides moderate questions were from interhalogen compounds mixed organic reactions solubility of salt very important topic adsorption chemical kinetics osmotic pressure fuel cell and cft so this involves some moderate problems and difficult problems were from mixed organic reactions where you need to find the product and then you have to for the solve it okay uh, intermolecular forces carboxylic acids and derivatives with amines alcohols with alkenes that means some organic chemistry was uh, difficult in this paper too so overall the paper 2 level was more than paper 1 Uh, mathematics also uh, we have seen a slight change in the in the difficulty level physics also there is a some uh, you know drastic change or you can say some change in uh, the difficulty level chemistry also have have seen a change in the difficulty level like paper 2 was uh, tougher than paper 1 okay 
Now, chemistry paper two analysis says that it featured a comprehensive mix of questions across various topics with a significant emphasis on mixed concepts that required integration of required integration of knowledge from multiple chapters. And organic chemistry was particularly uh, it involved some very challenging problems, often combining the multiple reaction types and reaction types and functional groups. So this was chemistry. So paper two overall was on the tougher side than paper one. Okay. Paper one was little bit you can say some scoring because uh, the, all the three subjects were, were from easy to moderate like in chemistry and physics and maths was like moderate to little bit lengthy or tricky problems. But paper two uh, was a bit challenging. Uh, if we talk about class 11th and class 12th analysis of paper two, so maths 43.33 percent class 11th because now trigonometry and coordinate geometry was involved, so like the ratio was almost almost similar. Unlike paper one, uh, mathematics class 12th is 56.66, but in in paper one, I think uh, the mathematics was like 70 percent and class 11th was 30 percent. Physics class 11th was 43 and class 12th is 56. Uh, in paper one, it was more or like balanced. Okay, and if we talk about <clears throat> chemistry, so chemistry is again, I think, uh, chemistry distribution paper to short a strong emphasis in class 12th, 63% organic chemistry, majorly from class 12th was asked, 63% from class 12th, and 11th, it's the remaining, 13% 30, were from class 11th, additionally 23% was from both class 11th and class 12th combined, so it was like of mixed questions in paper 2. Okay, so this was the detailed analysis of uh, the J Advanced 2025 paper. I hope everyone have liked this, everyone have understood this, and this will definitely help you uh, if you're preparing for next year or next to next year. Okay, so thank you so much and all the best students.